Hey everyone, it's Curly Red Hero, and today we have another unboxing video. Today we're going to do Cybernetic Horizon. Unfortunately, I wanted to do the next set that was coming out, uh, Soul Fusion, but that doesn't come out until sometime in October. I thought it was going to come out sometime at the end of the month of September, but it's not. Uh, so instead I have Cybernetic Horizon, the one before that. I was considering getting the... Um, Valkyrie set, but <laughs> when I went to actually go get it, this was sold out. So instead, we're gonna have to go ahead and do uh, Cybernetic Horizon. And I realized that they released a special edition recently. Uh, not so much a special edition, but when they like release like a couple of packs together in a little box, they did that recently. Um, but in any case, this is the original one. Uh, the original card set. Uh, let's go ahead and open it, I believe. Ah, how do they do this? There we go. Got ourselves uh, 24 packs. So this might uh, take a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the first one here. I don't remember exactly what's in these uh, packs, but I guess we'll just have to find out. Got ourselves a Cybernetic Vire, or Cybernetic, Cyber Dragon Vire, uh, Performer. For Performer Pal, Libra Man. Goki Ring Trainer. Cupid Valley, or Volley. Demise Agent of Armageddon, Shield Handler, Crusadia Maximus, hmm. Intercept Resture, Divine Serpent Gech, huh. Next one has for us. Goki Moonsault. Restoration Point Guard. Crusader Arborea. Arborea, I guess? Huh. Dragoonity Knight Escalion. Goki the Giant Ogre. Turning the world, or rather, turning of the world. Uh, Methophis Decoy Dragon. Terrifying Toddler of Torment. That's adorable. And Crusadia Rexilix. Regulix. Par about all these names always. Uh, Goki Ring Trainer again, Dealer's Choice, Crusadia Draco, Mephifus Ascension, ooh, hello, Sky Striker Ace Hayate, this looks pretty cool, Goki the Giant Ogre, Solitary Sword of Poison, uh, Cycle of the World, so this is for Rune Queen and Demise King of Armageddon, cool, Goki Tag Partner, cool. Crusadia Draco again, uh, Beast Magic Attack, huh. World Legacy, World Legacy's Memory, uh, Crusadia Vanguard, oh, uh, Umber Mirage the Elemental Lord, huh, oh sweet, Rune Queen, uh, Rune Supreme Queen of Oblivion. So this is a new one. All right. Goki Tag Partner Crusadia Leonis. Okay. And Crusadia Re uh, Reclusia. Kind of looks like Wizard Man from Digimon.
uh, mini Boral Dragon, uh, Crusadia Power, Contact Gate. We got a nice little Grand uh, Mole in there. All right. Let's see. Realm of Danger. Okay. White Stingray. Link Devotee. Okay. Cluster Congester, another toddler, another divine serpent. Uh, Goki Moon Sounds. Ooh, Performal Hand Samurai Gur. Cool. Uh, Divine's King of Armageddon, Crusadia Power. Whoa. It looks pretty gnarly. Mana Dragon of Zirnitron. Uh, huh. Uh, Performal Gold Fang. Cool. Uh, Mystical Institution. Okay. <laughs> Center Frog. Uh, Decoy Dragon again. Dragonity Legion, uh, Dragonity Course, uh, Universal Adapter. Got a bunch of. Uh, uh, there's a bunch of uh, light coming in because the uh, sun keeps pittering between bright and dark, so I have to <laughs> let it in and let it out. Uh, World Legacy Survivor. Ooh, Dragonity and Light Leon, or Luin. Another Leo Bin. The Bellman, uh, Tag Partner, and Leonis. Uh, Psychic Ace, Jaguni Course, Moon Salt, Restoration Point Guard, uh, uh huh. Volticular Dragmon Gone or Drum Gone. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Sign it Ritual. Uh huh. Okay. Melissa Squad. Another one of these and another serpent. I think I believe I got like three serpents already. Man, there's a lot of cards here. <laughs> I thought this was actually not too much, but uh it's actually quite a lot of cards. Uh, another barrel dragon, or mini barrel dragon, another formal samurai, another ring trainer. <laughs> uh, hip Hoshi engine. Cool. Uh, Demise, Supreme King of Armageddon. Nice. Goki tag partner, cycle of the world, another serpent, and another mystical institution. Not half bad. Not half bad. Zero Extra Link, Dragoon Course, uh, Cosmo Brain, hmm. Dragoon Legion, Dragoon Sensus, uh, Gladiator Beast Dragesis, huh. Uh, if a Gladiator Beast monster you control attacks, it cannot be destroyed by, uh, by that battle. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage set. Jesus. Uh, at the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you can turn this card to the extra deck special summon two Gladiator Beast monsters with different names from your deck. You can only use the effect of Gladiator Beast Dragaeus once per turn. Or Dragaeus? Uh, uh, Boral Regenerator, okay, and World Legacy's Mind Meld. Got another, another Cosmo Brain, another uh, Universal Adapter. We got Breaking of the World. I think I might have had this already, but like, uh, 
higher rarity. Cyber Rev System? Cyber Rev System. Choose some of one Cyber Driver game from your hand. Graveyard cannot be destroyed by card effects. Wow. Uh, another Gold Fang. Goki Hyogre. Uh, Crusadia Rakusa. Reliclusa. Another one of these and another one of these. Another extra link, uh, Crusadia Vanguard. Cool. Goki Ring Trainer. Uh, Danger Nessie. What the hell is this? You can reveal this card in your hand. Your opponent randomly chooses one card from their, uh, from your entire hand. Then you discard the chosen card. Then, if the discarded card was not Danger Nessie, special summon one Danger Nessie from your hand. And if you do, draw one card. If this card is discarded, you can add one Danger card from your deck to your hand, except Danger Nessie. You can only use the effect of Danger Nessie once per turn. Interesting card. Deep to Deep Grave. Target one monster in either player's graveyard during the next standby phase. Uh, special summon it from the graveyard. Huh. Decoy Dragon, uh, Rakusa, Regen Regenerator, and Mind Meld. I think we're about halfway done. Uh, another Crusadia Aborea. Uh, Mini Barrel Dragon. Restoria Point Guard. Crusadia Draco. Mirror Force Launcher. Once we turn during your main phase, you can discard one monster and add one Mirror Force from your deck to your, or from your deck or graveyard to your hand. If this set card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect and is sent to your graveyard, you can set this card from your graveyard and one mirror force from your hand deck or graveyard. They can be activated this turn. Man. Ooh. Renewal of the World. Uh, when this card is activated, banish one ritual monster from your deck. You can send this card to your graveyard, then activate one of these effects. Tribute one monster from your hand or field, or shuffle one ritual monster from your graveyard into your deck whose level equals or exceeds the level of the monster banishes by this card's effect, then ritual summon that monster. Or you can add the monster banished by this card's effect to your hand if you only use one renewal of the world effect per turn and only once uh, that turn. Noble Arms Clarence. Uh, Ballista Squad and another Poison Sword. Got ourselves another Psychic Ace, Beast Magic Attack, another Contact Gate there. Let's see, what is this? Crusadia X and Max. Uh, it needs two effect monsters, including Link Monster. Hmm. Uh, gains attack uh, equal to the combined original attack of all monsters this card points to. Whoa. Monsters this card points to cannot attack. Once per turn, quick effect, you can tribute one Crusadia or a world legacy monster this card points to, then target one face up card from your uh, your opponent controls, negate its effect until the end of this turn. Damn. And we got a Link Disciple. Another Labelle Man, uh, Mind Meld, another Link Devotee, and another Leonis. Good thing I actually got this pack because I uh, typically I go through and I buy a bunch of the commons, uh, common cards from packs individually, but I don't think I did it for this set. Uh, so it's nice that I'm actually doing this so I can get all these common cards. Uh, Noble Knight. Pelinor. Uh, you can target one noble arms equipped spell equipped to this card and one face up monster your opponent, control, uh, your opponent controls, destroy them, then draw one card. Also, this card cannot attack for the rest of the turn. You can only use the effect of noble knight Pelinor once per turn. Cool. Another renewal of the world, cybernetic overflow, uh, turning of the world, and then ruin, angel of oblivion. You can ritual summon this card from me. Uh, you can ritual summon this card with Cycle of the World. This card's name becomes Ruined Queen of Oblivion while it is in the hand or on the field. Uh, if this card is ritual summoned, it can make up uh, can make up to two attacks on monsters during each 
Oh, it can make up to. Okay. <laughs> uh, it can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase this turn. Only that turn? Hmm. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one ritual monster you control. While this card is faced upon the field, your opponent cannot activate card effects while, while your ritual monster declares an attack. Okay. Viewer's Choice, another Draco, another Ascension, whoa, uh, danger, Jackalope. Uh, you can reveal this card in your hand, uh, your opponent randomly chooses one card from your entire hand and discards the chosen card. When, when uh, rather then, if the discard of this card was not Danger Jackalope, special summon one Danger Jackalope from your hand, and if we do draw one card. If this card is discarded, you can special summon one Danger Monster from your deck in defense position, except Danger Jackalope. You can only use the effect of Danger Jackal once per turn. Wow, not that bad. Another Gliary Beast. Uh, internet. Tribute one monster and target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Cool. Uh, poison Sword again and another Reclusa. And we have about six left. World Legacies. Whoops, dropped the card. Again, Will's Legacy's uh, Memory, Beast Magic Attack, Boria, Maple Dragon, another Dragon, White Stingray, eh. Reclusia, another Queen, and another Cybernetic Overflow. Got here another ascension, another moon salt, another restoration point guard. Oh, hello, Crusadia revival. It's a field spell. All Crusadia link monsters on the field gain 500 attack once per turn. You can target one Crusadia link monster you control this turn. Even if this card leaves the field, it can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. Also, other monsters you control cannot attack. Meh. Got another Dragoonity Knight Luin. Uh, one Dragoonity Tune and one Non-Tune Monster. If this card is special summoned, you can target one Dragoonity Monster in the graveyard and equip it to this card. If this card is sent to the uh, graveyard, you can target one Dragoonity Monster you control. Equip this card to that target. Gains 100 attack and defense. Uh, you can only use uh, you can only use each effect of Dragoonity Knight Lumin once per turn. Poison Sword, another Cycle of the World, Tag Partner, and Institution. Got ourselves another Cosmo Brain, another Adapter. Uh, breaking up the World, I believe, yeah, we have this already. Psychic Ace Crusader, or rather, Noble Knight Custodian. Ooh, World Legacy, World Crown. Uh, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position to a zone a Link Monster points to. You can only special summon World Legacy, World Crown once per turn this way. When this way monster on your on the field that was special summoned from the extra deck activates its effect, uh, this is a quick effect, you can tribute this card, negate the activation. And if you do, destroy it. If it is a normal summon, reset. Uh, if this normal summon slash set card is tributed, you can add one legacy spell of world legacy spell or trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of world legacy world crown once per turn. Link current. Another toddler and another uh, heal ogre. So another Goki Moonsault, another Performal, Hand Samurai, uh, 
Agent Crusader Magnus. One Crusader card except Crusader Magnus. Uh, gains attack equal to the original attack of the monsters. Uh, of the monster this card points to. The monster this card points to cannot attack. If an effect monster is special summoned to the zone this card points to, except during the damage step, you can add one Crusadia monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Crusadia Magnus once per turn. <laughs> Imp Cantation Candle Doll. Uh, you can reel one ritual spell from your hand, special summon both this card from your hand and one Imp Cantation Monster from your deck, except Incantation Doll. Uh, if this card is summoned from your deck, you can add one ritual spell from your deck to your hand. You can only use one incantation candle effect once per turn and only once that turn. You can ask for summon monsters from the extra deck. We have Oblivion again, uh, Overflow, Cluster, Congester, Congester, and another Mind Melt. To the last four. City of Power, Contact, Gate, Dragoonity, Legion, uh, Dragoonity, Course, uh, Pelinor, uh, Sinet, Ritual, Gold Legacy is my mount. I've got like 10 of these. When an opponent's monster activates an effect while you control a crawler monster, the activated effect uh, becomes return one face up monster your opponent controls to the hand. You can banish. This card from your graveyard and target one monster on the field, especially summon one crawler monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard to the zone that the target points to in face down defense position. You can only use World Legacy's Mind Melt effect once per turn and only once that turn. Okay. And roll T. So the Spring Trainer again, Cupid Volley, I think this card's pretty cute. Um, you can choose a number from 1 to 3, then send that many cards from your the top of your deck to the graveyard. Increase this card level by the number of cards sent to the graveyard this way until the end of this turn. If this card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card uh, and sent to the graveyard, you can gain 1500 life points. You can only use the effect of Cupid Volley once per turn. I mean, it's not horrible. Uh, it lets you throw monsters into the graveyard. So, like, you can throw a uh, Plex Spreader and then summons Plex Spreader and then use her effect to have whatever level you want. It's a single summon, so pretty cool. Another demise. Uh, another one of these. Paladin of Storm Dragon. You can originally summon this card with Cybernet Ritual at the start of the damage step. If this card attacks a monster, you can return that monster to the hand. You can tribute this card, especially summon one level five or higher Cyberverse monster that uh, from your hand or deck, but cannot activate the effect this turn. You can only use the effect of Paladin of Storm Dragon once per turn. Cool. Center Dragon. Uh, Center Dragon. Center Frog. Cannot be used as a material for a fusion, synchro, exceed, or link summon. If this card is uh, normal or flip summon, change it to the fence position. Once per turn, you can target one monster in your opponent's uh, main monster zone. Give your opponent control of this defense position card by moving it to their zone adjacent to the target. Then, if your opponent controls exactly two sensor frogs in the main monster zone, you can control all of all you can control of all monsters in between those two cards. Interesting. Uh, let's uh, and then Dark Ulix. Second to last one. Uh, got ourselves another Beast of Magic Attack, Contact, Gate, another Moon Salt, another Point Guard. Ah, Wee Witch Apprentice. Cool. Uh, this guy, uh, Incantation. Uh, Talismandra, 
You can reveal one ritual. This is the same as the other guy, except he's for ritual monsters, if I remember correctly. Uh, another toddler. And finally, the last card here. Got ourselves uh, Crusadia Power, Psychic Ace, Horse. Whoa, I got another Sci Striker Hayate. Nice. Uh, Crossbreed, Link Devotee, Goki Heal, Link Turret, and Leonis. I think this is possibly the rarest card I got. At the very least, the shiniest. <laughs> I'll have to look up and see. Uh, it's one non win size striker ace monster. You can only special summon Stri striker ace Hayatas once per turn. This card can attack directly. After damage calculation, if this card battle, you can send one size striker mon uh, card from your deck to the graveyard. Interesting. I think that's about it. Uh, everything that I got. Quite a lot. I don't think anything was really that great. <laughs> Aside from maybe Hayate, uh, Nessie, you know, and the other danger card was pretty cool. Uh, Goldfang looked pretty cool. Cyber Revert, Rev System, I keep saying Revert, it's pretty cool. Uh, uh, you got two Gladiator Beasts, which was nice also. Um, got a Hip Hoshi Engine, which is cool as well, as well as, you know, Demise King. Um, got a couple of Cycle of the Worlds. Uh, got a Cybernet Ritual and uh, St Storm Dragon, which is nice. Um, got two Legions, or Luin. Luin. Um, got two Center Frogs. Got two Gold. Uh, fangs, I got this guy who looks really cool. Uh, I got a bunch of Demise King's uh, agents of Armageddon. And a bunch of Link Devotees. Uh, this looks cool. Uh, got a Ruined Queen of Oblivion, which is nice. Uh, another Hayate there. I think that's about it. Oh, I got this. I didn't even remember pulling that. Uh, some technical difficulties and starts. So I kind of flew through some of them. Nothing too crazy. Um, these are only just the cards that I assume are, you know, worth a bit. Or maybe not so much worth money, but at least they're good pulls. Uh, just from me initially looking at them. Uh, this guy's shiny, so that's gotta be worth something. <laughs> uh, this thing's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I got two of these. This looks nice. Uh, got a bunch of comments. Obviously, that was great. Uh, I like that. I like the way those danger cards sound. I don't know if they'll actually be worth anything uh, in terms of like competitive use. I got a Mirror Force Launcher, which was nice. <clears throat> Mirror Force Launcher was pretty cool. Uh, Link Disciple. Crusadia Equimax. Danger Jackalope. Pretty cool cards. Stay fresh.